home. Oh my god. The last time I was here was 2018, so I'm so happy to be back. I thought I would start off this vlog by doing my makeup and getting ready with you guys and also just kind of catching up. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually just like sat down and caught up with you guys and just giving you a bit of an update with where I'm at because the last few weeks of travel have just been very chaotic, very go, go, go. We've been in like one place for only two, three nights at a time. So I'm feeling a little bit frazzled. But in saying that, we're in Rome for a little under a week, which is going to be so nice. I can't wait to just kind of get into a semi routine and just kind of have slower mornings and not feel super rushed to have to do so many things all at once. I'm pretty much going to use the same products that I always do, but I'll leave them on the screen in case you have any questions. We've been in Europe for almost a month now, which is just crazy and kind of sad at the same time because I feel like it's just flying past and it's kind of freaking me out because it just feels like I'm going to blink and before I know it, I'll be home. It just feels so good to travel again and... As much as I do love being home and being in routine, um, I'm just scared this trip is going so fast. So I'm trying to make the most of it as much as I can. And you guys, it is definitely making me consider maybe wanting to move here for a period of time next year. Not necessarily Rome, but I'm thinking maybe Paris. I don't know, we'll see. But Alex and I have pretty much decided on the fact that next year we're not going to sign a lease. Just because right now we're still paying rent for our house um, on the Sunshine Coast and that's like pretty expensive whilst we're still traveling. So we've decided that next year we're not going to sign a lease and move in with family just so that we have a lot more freedom to travel. I'm going to set up a new studio at my mum's place in her old office. It's actually a way bigger space than what I have now. So I think that's honestly going to be perfect. And I'm really looking forward to that because it'll just mean that I'm able to like go and travel and then come home and work on drops. So for now, that is the plan. And I just feel like we're young and whilst we kind of have no commitments or anything tying us down apart from Yoki, but we're never getting rid of him. <laughs> He'll be with our family. But like we don't have children or a mortgage or anything like that. So there's nothing really tying us down to Australia just yet. And I would just kind of feel like it was a waste of my 20s if I didn't make the most of that. Also, side note, I totally understand the hype of Glossier now. Um, we don't have this in Australia, so I was very late to the game. But I'm obsessed with this cloud paint blush. When I go back to London, I'm already going to buy more because I just use this every day. I love it so much. Oh, also, one of the main reasons that I came on this holiday, there's been a product that has been in the works of mine. My first, like, non-ceramic product that I personally have, like, manufactured and designed and put so much money and time into. It's literally been in the works almost a year now. By the time it launches, it will be a year. But when I was planning this holiday, I kind of planned going to Rapolo, which is in Northern Italy, around doing the launch shoot for that. We spent two days shooting. Alex, my boyfriend, and then Liam, our good friend who we're traveling with, both shot the campaign for me. And oh my God, it's the first time I've never actually like personally shot a campaign for my business, which was very scary. But honestly, I couldn't have put it in the hands of two people I trust more because they absolutely nailed it. And I am so excited. I feel like I've kind of been dropping hints about it on my socials, maybe not, but I've definitely like posted a few things with the product in it. So you'll have to comment down below if you figured it out yet. If not, don't worry. You'll find out in a few weeks anyway. The other day in Rapallo, we caught a train to a little town, which is like honestly two stops away. So a very short train ride. And I don't know if I got pickpocketed because I feel like I would have noticed, but then again, they are so sneaky. But I lost my favorite Lou Goldie Sunnies devastated because I can't get another pair until I'm home and then I also lost my Glossier lip gloss and I bought this handmade little ceramic angel from a small shop that was in that town and it was so beautiful and I was so excited to like hang it up at home and all of those things were missing so it either fell out of my bag which again I'm very like onto it with that stuff usually and I never lose things so it's really weird also, this is probably one of my favorite products. This is the off-duty glass stick from Mecca. And I literally put this everywhere because I feel like it just makes me look so like dewy. Not that you really need it in this 40 degree Rome heat. 
I also dysoned my hair just before filming this. So we're gonna take this out. Moment of truth. I mean, I feel like she's improving. But this is my finished makeup look. I'm gonna pick an outfit now and then figure out with the boys what we're gonna do today. Okay, this is the final fit. I'm just putting my film camera in my bag. Top is and other stories. This very short little skirt is from Becca Bridge, but I love it and it's so hot here today. And then I'm wearing Tiva sandals and my bag is from Dylan Kane. <laughs> These stupid bottle flips. Not ready? This one's too long. Wow. Well, that was a sick one, actually. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. We're back in our Airbnb, just having a little bit of downtime. I've kind of found a break up our days and come back to the Airbnb around like siesta time when things close, just to like regroup, chill, get a little bit of work done. Believe it or not, right now I'm actually doing some work on my Italian. I'm not sure if I've ever actually mentioned on here, but I'm half Italian and being back here in Italy has made me so embarrassed about how little I know and how bad my pronunciation is. So it's definitely something I'm trying to work on. Thank you so much to Skillshare for working with me on today's video. You guys may or may not be familiar with Skillshare already, but it is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes. I'm currently taking the three minute Italian taster course, which is 19 lessons broken down into three-ish or they're about minute classes. And I'm actually almost already finished with it. It's only an hour and four minutes total. It's definitely very basic, which reflects how much I actually know, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. And it is available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. From languages to ceramics, to graphic design, freelancing, there are literally classes for every single interest. I'll have a link in the description box where the first thousand people to use that link or my code Lolita Olympia will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so I definitely recommend jumping on that before the places fill up and once again thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video quick little outfit change for dinner I'm just wearing this black dress from Realization Park super breezy and I think we're getting pasta Look how tiny these strawberries are. <laughs> They're literally the size of my pinky finger. So cute. Okay, we are ready for the day, finally. I don't know why, but the hot water in our Airbnb isn't working, so 
we had to have a cold shower which was kind of nice after our run but also i don't know cold showers kind of give me an ache today's fit for another 32 degree day this top is from lottie hall i always get questions about it and yeah the same denim shorts that i always wear so we're going into this area called Monty, I think. It's meant to just be a bit of a groovy area with um, really good vintage shops, apparently. So we're gonna have a look around there, have a look at the Coliseum, do the touristy thing because Liam hasn't been to Rome. And also the Coliseum is pretty cool. And then I guess one of my favorite bits about being in this big city that you're not familiar with is just getting lost because that is when I truly find the best spots and the best shops and the best food. only got one thing but i want to show you guys we came across the most amazing vintage stores today most were a little overpriced but this one called humana was so so good i tried on a ton of things but let me tell you when i came on this trip my bag was already 25 kilos and that is the max weight i have for the whole travels and there are even some internal flights that we are taking that I only have an allowance of like 23 or 20 I think but oh my god I wish I could have gotten so much more I found this vintage cotton long midi skirt with a tie at the front we love it it's super light and it was only nine euros but this is it it literally fits me so perfectly and I'm kind of obsessed and now it's like almost 6 p.m. We have dinner at 7. I honestly cannot be bothered putting like any effort in. <laughs> I'm so tired today just because we spent so long out and we did so much walking. And I feel like all of this travel is finally starting to catch up to me. So yeah, I definitely want to have like a quiet chill night after dinner. Also, don't know why I'm literally grabbing onto this window. Like my life depends on it. <laughs> This situation really freaks me out. <laughs> they need to organize it ASAP. wash and blow dry my hair the best feeling in the world i did a workout this morning so i'm feeling good i'm actually really proud of myself because i don't usually work out on holidays it was literally just a couple of stair runs and then i did a little ab workout when we got home so that always sets me up for a good day we're having a little bit of a slower morning which is really nice we're meeting up with some friends later today around 1 p.m so i think we're gonna just chill at home and work up until then I'm going to start editing a video and just get back to some emails, kind of boring life admin things. I guess I'll check back in with you guys once we are about to leave and figure out what we're doing today because I'm not too sure just yet actually. We're serial outfit repeaters on this holiday because of limited baggage allowance, <laughs> but I'm just wearing this dress. I think it's from the brand Palette, Palette, I can't remember exactly, but it's just like so nice for these hotter days and then i've just paired it with this little bag 
and I'm wearing my Birks because comfort is key. days that we've had here we were only back at our apartment for an hour if that and now we have a dinner reservation for the same restaurant we went to on our first night or second night here i think because it's just so good if you come to rome you have to come here it's like the best homemade pasta so cheap and just so good <laughs> you think you're funny <laughs> i'm so sick of them yeah. Presents. 